Hi everyone, good evening. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. I hope you are having a nice weekend. ¿Qué tal chicos? ¿Cómo están? How are you doing? ¿Me logran escuchar? Can you hear me? Can yes, everybody teacher. hear me? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Es que mi cámara está como con mucho eh, retardo, so I'm not sure. Guys, si me estoy quebrando or anything, let me know. Because no sé si es mi internet, pero mi cámara, yo la veo un poco quebrada. Um, thanks a lot. Gracias a todos por estar acá. Gracias a, por acompañarnos en nuestra semana número 3. Estaríamos terminando el módulo la próxima semana, right? And um, eh, solamente les quiero agradecer a quienes ya avanzaron con la plataforma, quienes ya la terminaron. Por ahí algunos compañeros que ya están súper al día. So amazing. Eh, súper buen trabajo, guys. Si todavía se me han quedado atrás. Esta semana vamos a completar la sección número 4 de la plataforma. So please, eh, les pido su colaboración para terminarla antes del día viernes, right? Y de esa manera que no nos vayamos quedando eh, atrás, right? Que no nos vayamos eh, acumulando demasiadas actividades o demasiadas tareas. Um, guys, ¿cómo les, ¿cómo les ha ido el fin de semana? How was your weekend? Todo bien, everything good. Are you fine? Salieron, se quedaron en casa, trabajaron. How was it? Cuéntenme, guys. I'm super curious. Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, yes. Solo en casa. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Good. Eh, Omar, ¿cómo se dio de la mano? Los compañeros que tenían problemas de salud ya son mejores. Are you feeling better? Por ahí vi el mensaje de Rose también que ya se incorporaba. So, no sé si Rose ya está por acá. Eh, Nancy también estaba un poquito mal de salud. Y espero que esté mejor, Nancy. Um, let me see. Who else? Who else? Yeah. So, well, thank you guys. Gracias por por estar acá, you know, and, and uh, poder acompañarnos en este proceso. Um, deme un segundito solamente, les voy a tomar asistencia para que ya podamos dar inicio con las actividades que tenemos for today. Give me one second. My computer is getting super slow. Okay. Give me one second. Two. Two, two. Okay. Wait a second, guys. Solamente eh, les pido su colaboración con la, con la, um, with your camera, please. Y me regalen confirmación verbal que estamos por acá. So, give me one sec. Mm, give me one sec. This is still loading. Okay. Okay, guys, solamente regálenme confirmación verbal, please. And uh, let me get started here. Okay. Eh, Jennifer Martinez está por acá. No. Eh, Kenny Rivera. Kevin Hernández. Gracias, Kevin. Uh, 
Kimberly Fuentes. Present. Gracias, Miss. Ladies. Present. Thank you. Leticia. Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Marco. Present. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mirna Alejandra. Raivia <clears throat> Nancy. Nelson Melgar. Present. 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 Thank you so much. Norma Cañas. Present. Thank you. Miss, prefiere Norma o Tatiana? Tatiana. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Omar Mosso. Omar, let me confirmation, please. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Oscar Rodriguez. Present. Gracias. Oscar Rosales. Present. Thank you. Pablo. Pablito. Thank you so much. Paola. Paola is not here. Raquel. Present. Gracias. Raúl. No. Eh, Rebeca. Present. Thank you. Rosa de los del Carmen. Rosemary. Present. Thank you. Here. Roxana. No. Sandra. Present. Oh, Roxana, right. Thank you. Sofía. No. Teresa de Jesús. Trinidad de Mercedes. Trinidad Sofía. Present. Thank you so much. And Veronica. Present. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much for that. So today, vamos a revisar un poquito. We are going to be checking uh, some vocabulary para hablar un poquito de ropa. Yo sé que ya vieron este video from the platform, but we are going to practice this a little bit. Oh, okay. Gracias, Nancy. Sorry, no había leído su mensaje. No worries. Espero que siga mejor, Miss. I hope you feel better. Okay. Okay, guys. So to get started, we are going to, solamente para refrescarnos un poquito, vamos a ver this video from the platform que es relacionado con ropa, right? Para que podamos practicar la pronunciación y podamos refrescarlo. So, si ya lo vieron, no worries. Solamente es para poder refrescar un poquito this topic of clothing. So, tenemos clothes for work and clothes for leisure. So, like the clothes that we normally wear at home, right? La ropa que utilizamos en la casa, the clothes um, you wear to go to the park, to go to the church, all right? So let me play it, okay, y luego la repetimos. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Coat. Shoes. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Okay, I will stop the video there because I want to discuss this with you. First of all, clothes for the work. Guys, sé que quizás algunos eh, no están como trabajando ahorita, otros están en la casa, you're doing home office, but piensen en los momentos en los que quizás han tenido ya yeah, like a, a job, han tenido que salir de su casa, you know, or han ido a entrevistas, for example. So, what do you normally wear? So, ¿qué usan? Cuando hablamos de ropa, no puedo utilizar la palabra use, sino que en vez de use, voy a utilizar la palabra wear, right? Que es para vestir. 
So I wear. Guys, when you go to an interview, cuando van a trabajar, what do you wear? ¿Qué visten? Boys, do you wear a tie? ¿Usan corbata? Do you wear a tie? Yes. Yeah, you mm -hmm. do? All right. Like a jacket, belt, coat, everything? Jacket. A jacket. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we have here like pants that are super formal. In Spanish, le llamamos pants a los de correr, right? But in English, pants son los muy formales. So we have here like pants, jackets, and shoes, like normal or uh, formal shoes, right? So for the women, we have here like scarves, uh, blouses. So we have the shirt. Shirt is como la manga larga, right? So that's a shirt. Um, and we have a high blouse. Uh-huh. We have high heels, exactly. Or sandals, probably, right? Yes. And a skirt. Or dresses. Girls, do you wear dresses? Si usan vestido, do you wear dresses? Do you wear a skirt? Uh -huh. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. I don't like dresses. Probably just for important <laughs> events or celebrations. I prefer shorts and jeans. <laughs> what do you prefer, yes. guys? So what do you yes. prefer? Jeans, okay. Boys, what do you prefer? Do you wear shirts? Usan camisas formales, do you wear shirts? Boys, no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. All right, so tenemos esta parte que es shirt, bien formal, y tenemos lo puesto here for leisure, that is, if you take a look, a hat, right? We have a, a sweater. Uh, we have gloves. I think in El Salvador, we don't need them. Uh, we have jeans, right? And we have boots. So, no necesariamente son como este tipo de botas. Boots is for every kind of uh, wear, like shoe wear or footwear. And here, for a month, we have a cap, right? And we have a t-shirt. So look, shirt and t-shirt, super informal. For example, I see Pablo and I think that he is wearing a t-shirt, right, Pablo? Yeah, That's yeah. a t-shirt, right? Okay, oh, Marco too. So I see Marco too and I think that it's a t-shirt, exactly. So we have also shorts, uh, we have socks and we have sneakers. This is important. In español le llamamos tenis. Pero los tenis shoes son para jugar tenis. So, cuando son esos tipos de zapatos como de dominguear, <laughs> okay, los que utilizamos para salir, <laughs> le llamamos sneakers. So, no son tenis shoes, sino sneakers. Sneakers no son para deportes, sino con los que usted sale a, a pasear, right? So, those are sneakers. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. So, we have boots, we have sneakers, we have high heels, we have shoes, right? We have pajamas. And we have also the swimsuit. Guys, ¿qué más nos hace falta? Can you do me a favor? Váyanse al chat, please. Go to the chat. Y escriban algo que no esté en este video. Can you write something that is not here? Algo que podemos usar. Something that you can wear. Probablemente cosmético. I mean, not cosmetic, but accesorios. Algo que no esté incluido. Al otro nombre de zapatos. You know, otro nombre de algo that is not here. Lo pueden escribir en el chat. Can you go to the chat, everybody? Can you include something else? Pueden agregar algo que no sé. ¿Qué es lo que ustedes usan? What do you normally wear? In my case, for example, no están los lentes. So I'm going to include, porque es algo que utilizamos. Oh, okay. So I'm going to include their glasses, right? Because that's something every day uh, we use. Rop oh, ropa interior, guys. How do you say ropa interior in English? Bag. Okay, diademas. Okay, in English, how do you say that? How can I say diademas? How can I call those accessories? A bag, that's right. Bag, no, it's saying it's not there. Guys, how do you call ropa interior? How do you say that in English? Anybody? Miss, ¿cómo se dice medias? How do you say? <laughs> How do you say? Uh -huh. Okay, so um, we can call it, de forma bien general, 
we can call it underpants, right? Eh, ya sea para hombre o para mujer, we can call it underpants. Or, si quieren ser más específico, tenemos bra y tenemos panties, right? So, bra, panties, that's fine. Eh, ah, a watch, exactly. A waist bag, very nice. Guys, ¿alguna vez han comprado en Forever 21, en Amazon, en eBay? Todos los nombres vienen en inglés. Recuérdense que han pedido <laughs> o que han visto. What have you seen on the internet? Eh, rings, that's right. So, some rings, okay. Eh, scarf, okay. Let's see, skinny jeans, that's right. So, we have a skinny jean, a smartwatch, exactly. ¿Qué más no está, guys? What is not there? ¿Qué más utilizan? Look at yourself. Véanse y revisan qué no está aquí. What is something that is not here? Anything else? What is missing? Okay, an umbrella, yeah, that's right. So we have an umbrella, a hat, okay. So cap, hat, good, 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 good. Okay, also, cuando hablamos de zapatos, hay muchos tipos de zapato. We call it, every type of shoe has a different name. For example, tenemos los zapatos pachitos, especially for women, right? So, ¿cómo le llaman los zapatos así sin... sin Uh, sin tacón. Yes, exactly. Son los, los, los que llamamos flats. That's the English name. So flats, como los pachitos. Briefcase, sandals, very nice. Exactly. Now, cuando es domingo, when it is Sunday, oh, you're right. So face mask, también ya ahora es parte de la rutina. <laughs> okay. So when it is Sunday y estamos en la casa, for example, no utilizamos sandals. You don't wear sandals. You don't wear shoes. ¿Cómo se les llama las del domingo, you know? O las que cuando llegan a casa. Well, puede ser las pantuflas, but in El Salvador hay algo más. There is something else. Gina. <laughs> las ginas, guys. Las chanclas. Oh, crocs. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. So we call them flip-flops. So flip-flops. All right. Es la que usaba nuestra madre. So <laughs> those are the flip-flops. All right. Las que usamos normalmente para estar en la casa, right? The ones you wear to be at home. So flip-flops. Now, guys, I got a question for you. So the question is, what are you wearing? So what are you wearing? Remember, wear is the vestir. No utilizamos la palabra you, sino wearing. So guys, what are you wearing? ¿Qué andan puesto ahorita? ¿Qué están utilizando? ¿Qué están vistiendo? So what are you wearing? In my case, for example, I am wearing, you can see here, like, a, like this is a blouse, right? So I am wearing a blouse. I am wearing a pair of jeans, right? I am at home. So I am wearing flip-flops, right? I am wearing flip-flops. Sorry, no high heels. <laughs> okay. And I'm wearing a pair of glasses. So I'm wearing a pair, a pair of glasses. So... In my case, for example, algo que yo nunca uso, I like I never wear. So, yo nunca uso, por ejemplo, accesorios, like anillos. I never wear rings or bracelets, for example. I don't like bracelets. I don't like rings. Um, what else? Something that I don't like. Oh, I don't like hats. Yeah, so I never wear hats, for example. And uh, I think that's it. What about you guys? So, ¿qué andan puesto ahorita? What are you wearing? Now, si quiero ser mucho más específica, yo le puedo agregar el color, por ejemplo, right? I can write the color. El color 
o lo que ustedes quieran agregarle siempre va a ir antes de lo que yo quiera decir. Por ejemplo, I am wearing, mi blusa es como bien colorica, so I am wearing a colorful, a colorful blouse, right? I am wearing a pair of, y puedo decir el color, a pair of blue jeans, right? Porque son azul celeste, so I'm wearing a pair of blue jeans. So le van a agregar color, siempre va antes de la palabra. So guys, what are you wearing? ¿Qué están vistiendo? What are you wearing, guys? Any volunteer? I'm wearing... Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, hi, good night. Hello, hello, tell us. What are you wearing? I'm wearing uh, pink blouse. Mm -hmm. Bl blouse, it? blouse is okay. Blouse. Mm -hmm. um, a pair of mm -hmm. también es pink. A pair of pink jeans. Oh, okay. Flip flop. In flip flops, okay. <laughs> Creo que todos. I guess everybody. <laughs> Guys, can you confirm? Is everybody wearing flip flops? Todos tienen como, están vistiendo como chanclas, you know, jeans. Is everybody wearing yes. flip flops? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. O, o alguien anda como muy formal en la casa. What are you wearing like? I don't know. I don't know. High heels, sandals. Sandals son altas, right? Estamos hablando de zapatos de tacón. So sandals, eh, are you wearing formal clothes? No. Alguien anda vestido formal. Is anybody wearing formal clothing? No. Right. no, 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 no. I don't think so. Are you wearing a sweater? Is anybody wearing a sweater? No. 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 I don't know. I mean, I am from La Libertad. So here it's so hot. So I never wear a sweater. Guys, ¿qué es algo que nunca visten? What is something that you never wear? What is something you never wear, guys? ¿Qué es algo que nunca visten? A mini skirt. Oh, me too. I never wear a mini skirt. Okay, I agree. <laughs> okay, <laughs> mini skirt. Um, yeah, mini skirt. Okay, guys, what about the rest? What's something you never wear? Ropa muy apretada. Mm, oh, okay, okay. Wait, so tight clothes. You never wear tight clothes. Pero tampoco es como muy holgada, right? Tight es como apretado. Oscar? Diga. Pero tampoco ropa muy holgada. O si le, le usa muy holgada. No, 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 no. no. Más no, como si fit. No. Normal, normal, normal. Como fit normal. clothes. Ropa que, que le... Um, como justa, fit. Exacto. Okay, so fit clothes, all right. So fit, normally guys, fit no es de fitness or anything, sino es el tipo de ropa que es de nuestra talla, right? Sometimes usamos ropa que no es de nuestra talla. <laughs> okay, a little smaller or a little bigger, right? So that can be tight, que es apretadito, y tenemos lo opuesto que es loose. So loose clothing es ropa bien holgada, ropa como muy floja, right? Do you prefer tight clothes or loose clothes? I prefer loose clothes. Me too. In my house, you know, I look <laughs> like, I always tell my sister, llegando a la casa es como, prefiero mi ropa de, de, de casa, you know? <laughs> like big shirts, uh -huh, or uh -huh. <laughs> no blouses, I prefer shirts or shorts. Yes. Something more sure. comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. What about the rest of you guys? What is something you never wear? ¿Qué es algo que viste? What's something you never wear? Scarf. A scarf. Oh, a scarf. Okay. You never wear a scarf. And the rest? Teacher, how do you say uh, blusa con, con mucho escote? How do you say? Oh, okay. So... Let, let me think about it. 
I don't think, creo que no hay una forma de decirlo that way, pero podría ser como sexy blouses. Ah, ok. <laughs> yeah, we can use that one. Okay. Or let me think about another way. Lo que sucede es que como depende también de nuestro cuerpo, right? Like clothes looks different. But, 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 but. Uh -huh. Clothes. Let, let me, let me. Let me try to remember saying a palabra específica for that. I don't think so, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. You are welcome. Okay, guys. So let's continue here. Give me one sec. Give me one second. So let's do the following. We are going to make a list of the most common clothing that we wear. So let me erase this and let's answer the following questions. What, oops, sorry. What do you wear for an event? What do you wear? To go to work. Okay. And what is your favorite piece of clothing? Okay, guys, so I have these questions for you. Number one says, What do you wear for an event? Right? So, si tienen una fiesta, if you have a, a graduation, an event, or something like that. What do you wear? So, que normalmente se pone, right? Que visten. My second, what do you normally wear to go to work? So, si van a una entrevista, si van al trabajo, right? ¿Qué es lo que visten? What do you normally wear? Y la última, todos tenemos algo que nos gusta de nuestra ropa, right? Probably una gorra, probably a shirt. Probably un par de zapatos or something. So what is your favorite piece of clothing? De todo su, su closet, right? ¿Qué es lo que más le gusta? What is, for example, in my case, puedo tener like a lot of clothing, pero siempre voy buscando la misma camiseta, for example. So I, I really like one of my shirts. Porque es cómoda, porque es, you know, like por la tela, for example, because of the color. So what is your favorite piece of clothing? Y si lo pueden mostrar muchísimo mejor, right? Siempre que no sea underwear, estamos bien. So, um, so let's answer this. I'm going to give you, les voy a dar un minutito. I'm going to give you one minute para que puedan escribir su respuesta, right? What do you wear for an event? Uh, for example, in my case, I wear, um, normally for events, I wear dresses. I don't wear dresses in other time, but for an event, I wear dresses, uh, I wear high heels. Um, I don't like bags, to be honest. So no me gustan las, las um, carteras. I don't like bags. So I never wear bags, but I wear dresses. I wear high heels um, and I wear makeup. Uh, it is not very common for me uh, como usar mucho maquillaje, but I wear makeup for an event too. And uh, that would be it, right? What about you guys? So what do you wear for an event? Do you wear skirts? Do you wear blouses? Do you wear sandals? In the case of men, ¿alguna vez han usado algún tuxedo, for example? ¿Han utilizado un traje super formal? Have you ever worn a coat or a tie? or a jacket, um, or pants, or boots. So what do you normally wear? I'll give you one minute, guys. Un minutito.
Is everybody ready? Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Um, ¿Alguien necesita más tiempo? Do you need more time? No. No? Are we good? ¿Todos ya terminaron? Is everybody done? Yes. Ok, creo que es un sí. <ríe> ok, guys. So, vamos a compartir esto. Vamos a compartir la respuesta de nuestras preguntas, right? Podemos armar siempre la oración completa. Like my example, I wear. Remember, no utilicemos I use, sino la palabra I wear. Um, perdón, creo que Verónica tenía una pregunta y no la respondí, Verónica. Era sobre medias, creo que me preguntó. Sí, teachers. ¿Qué tipo de medias, Verónica? Oh. Eh, ¿Medias como leggings o medias las que nos ponemos debajo de las, las faldas, por ejemplo? Sí, de las que usamos debajo de la falda. A okay, ver, uh, so, normalmente es una pantyhose. Pantyhose. La escribo acá. Or, I wear uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm, so, they are panties. That is the one. Okay. Okay, you are welcome. Okay, guys. So vamos a ir a grupos like super quick. Share. Y si pueden mostrarnos como your favorite piece of clothing, si tienen a la mano, cuál es su, uh, como like, el elemento, right, de su closet que les gusta, feel free to do it. That would be really nice. Nos pueden mencionar el color, right, Characteristics, everything you can, todo lo que puedan, guys. So, give me one moment and vámonos. Let's go there. Tenemos cinco minutos to share. Let's go, go, go. <risa> y las otras dos preguntas o vamos a ir una y una eh, fíjese que yo solo vi de que, de que íbamos a practicar esta, la, de, la primera ah, okay. Ah, okay. Only one. ok ok bueno, iría yo, vamos a ver dice vamos a ver what do you wear for um, Evan, um, I wear uh, elegant dresses and um, sandals. No sé si me lograron entender. No, it's Italian. Otra. Mm. I think we got it. So you normally wear sandals and elegant dresses, right? Yes. Do you wear any accessory? Like, I don't know, do you wear earrings? Do you wear necklaces or headbands? Do you wear anything else? Accessories? Teacher, uh, one no, question. Sure. Um, I can say, uh, for example, uh, Polo shirt. Polo shirt. <laughs> Exactamente así. That's a polo shirt. Um, there are uh, actually sometimes hay nombres específicos de la ropa. 
for example, eh, I think that Tatiana right now, eh, si es una blouse, pero hay ropa específica que tiene nombre. For example, eh, we have these ones that are called tank tops. So tank tops son como los centritos. O las camisetas uh, or the blouses que nos ponemos por bajo también podría ser como una especie de tank top, right? A polo shirt is an polo shirt all the time. A, for example, I see Veronica's blouse. A, es como la que llamamos sin mangas, right? So we call them, uh, tienen nombres como bien específicos. So we can call it a, a sleeveless blouse. So a sleeveless is sin mangas. A sleeve son las mangas, right? So a sleeveless a, blouses. Or, no sé si han escuchado las off shoulder, right? So, las que son como en este estilo, like this way. So, like off shoulder. So, creo que para mujeres como muchos más estilos than men, sorry. <laughs> And men are just like, okay, uh, polo shirt, shirt, t-shirt, that's it. <laughs> so, I think that there are more like styles. Okay, so guys, what do you wear? What do you wear for events? Boys, girls, what do you wear? Okay, well, for events, I wear a black suit, a blue mm -hmm. tie, a black belt, a white shirt, and black shoes. Oh, okay, okay. Formal shoes or like casual shoes? Uh, no, formal, formal, formal shoes. shoes. Okay, no, that's okay, that's all right. Oh, okay. You mentioned you wear a tie? Yes, yes, yes. Just a blue tie. Oh, so you're very specific about the color. Uh, yes, sometimes yes. Okay, cool, cool, sounds good. What about the rest of you guys? What do you wear? For, for, for event. Mm -hmm. Yes, one. for an event. Yes, number one. I wear uh, a shirt. Mm -hmm. Forma. Okay. And pants. Okay. Jeans. 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 jeans or uh -huh, I don't know. Pants or los formales. And jeans are jeans. Uh -huh. siendo lo mismo. No. Pants son los que llamamos de vestir. Y el jeans es el ah, de mezclilla. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Pants. Pants. Okay. Do um, you wear a belt? Black. Do you wear a belt? Do you wear a belt? A belt. Belt. Black tennis. Como cinchos. Do you wear belt? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. The and black shoes. Oh, okay. And black shoes. All right. Yeah. So no jacket, no coat. No. Not really. Okay. No. All right. That's okay. That's fine. What about the rest of you girls? Veronica, what do you wear? Uh, Tatiana, creo que ya está lista. Go, Tatiana, go. What do you wear? What do you wear, girls? What do you wear for Evan? I wear makeup. A uh, heel, accessory, uh, watch, and breakers. Uh, why do you normally wear? Uh, I am wear jeans, uh, sneaker white, and blue. To go to work. Uh, to work. Yes. Do you do you go I, with do you go with jeans? I do you nor the normally. Yes, uh, I am wear jeans. Uh -huh. uh, okay, yeah. but like normally, you mean like to be at <laughs> home? <laughs> or <laughs> normally to go to work? <laughs> normally para estar en su casa o para ir al trabajo? Uh, <laughs> casa. Ah, okay. And to go to work? <laughs> y para ir a trabajar, to go to work? Pues creo... uh, home <laughs> office. <laughs> 
Ay, ok. Super nice. Lo que quiera, whatever you want. <laughs> ok. Nice, nice. Ay, pero te las. Te las, pero. I like wearing black jeans. Eso es todo, that's it. Black jeans. Uh, yes, that's me. My favorite is I like wearing sí. black jeans. Oh, that's your favorite. Okay, guys, that's right. What about your favorite piece of clothing? ¿Cuál es su, su elemento favorito de vestimenta? What's like your favorite piece of clothing? Jeans. Jeans, Pablo. Creo que la mostró por ahí. What's that? Is that a jacket? Para sport, no. Pants, sport, sería o cómo? Para deporte. Sorry. Those are sweatpants. 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 Okay, thank you. Nice. So sweatpants. What about the rest of you guys? Los demás. What is your favorite piece of clothing? Mine are uh -huh. a pair of sneakers. Yes, Kimberly. And my favorite part. Uh, no sé cómo se piensa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace is a uh, short uh, color silver and um, with with my so a pair of silver shorts and a uh, uh, short. Quería uh, decir plateado. Silver. Con ajá con blanco. Ah, silver and white. White. Ah, okay, okay. Sounds good. Oscar is sick. Marco, what about you? My favorite piece of clothes are my, let me see, my brown shoes because they're, they're very comfortable. Ah, okay. So brown shoes. Nice. You know, I am really, really happy with flip flops and the sneakers. So I think my favorite piece of clothing is maybe between my, my pair of sneakers, that's it. So, and I think that we are definitely into that. Uh, Omar, what about yours? Okay, teacher. Um, uh, for example, I, 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 I when I go to the beach, uh, I wear uh, um, t-shirts and shorts and sunglasses. Ah, okay, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why, but for men, clothes is easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you don't need to complicate a lot, I guess. So that's something really cool. For women, I think it's a little more complicated. I don't know why, but anyway. Thank you, guys. That was nice talking to you. Let's go back. Give me one moment here. All right, thank you guys for coming back. So 
Sorry about that. All right, so we were talking about clothing. We were talking a little bit about um, like your favorite piece of clothing. So guys, uh, ¿cuál es su, su elemento favorito? What's your favorite piece of clothing? I heard shorts. I heard um, mm, sweatpants. What about the rest, guys? ¿Cuál es su favorito? What's your favorite? Rosemary, ¿cuál es su, su elemento favorito de ropa? Something that you say, no importa dónde vaya, yo me lo quiero llevar, you know? Rosemary? Sí, pero my word is my sporting t-shirt. Sport, okay, sports t-shirt. All right, nice, nice. What about the rest of you guys? Um, let me see, Nelson. What about you? Yes, um, I wear teacher, t-shirt. T-shirts. Okay, it's a t-shirt. Yes. Um, okay. Color, color white. No, I I see that. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Nice. Maria de Los Angeles, what about you, Miss? What is your favorite? My favorite is short. Oh, okay. So shorts. Teresa, what about you? Uh, my favorite is the short. A, a t shirt. Guys, correct me. Creo que eh, she is breaking or I'm breaking. So, dijo t-shirt? Did Teresa say t-shirt? Maybe. Creo que se me quebró. No sé cómo se Teresa, ¿me logré escuchar? Yes. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Eh, no sé si fue mi internet. Se, se me cortó. I, I was breaking. Um, so you mentioned t-shirt, camisetas, t-shirt? No, short. Oh, shorts. I'm sorry. It was my internet. Okay, so shorts. Okay. What color? Normalmente ya los tenemos escogido. Oh, you got them there. Que nice. Se ven bien cómodos. They look very comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> okay, super cool. What about the rest of you guys? What's your favorite piece of clothing? Eh, Rebeca, what about you? Rebeca? Rebe. Hello. Hello, there you go. Se me, se me corta un poco, casi no logré. Yeah, I mean, what is your favorite piece of clothing? So, ¿cuál es ah, su elemento fa favorito? Mm -hmm. um, favorite um, blouse and a skirt. Okay, so a blouse and a skirt. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. So, like, the whole outfit. Kevin, what about you? A cup, a hat? For me, uh, I like uh, cup and shorts. Oh, cap, okay, cap and shorts. Nice, nice. Now, guys, thank you. Look at this little conversation. This is related to clothing. No sé si les ha pasado alguna vez. So you tell me. This is called It is a Disaster. Antes de escucharlo, en caso no lo hayan hecho, tell me, guys, ¿qué les ha pasado con la ropa? ¿Qué es lo peor que les ha pasado talking about clothing? ¿Alguna vez han tenido algún accidente? Se les ha roto en it. Ajá, yes, Rosemary. Se me rompió la falda en el colegio. Oh, ok. O también quemar un, me quemé mi pantalón una vez de vestir. Planchando, irony. Yes, planchando. Oh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Ok, irony. No, mis, todo le ha pasado. <risa> se le rompió, se le quemó y se le pegó el chicle. Oh, my God. <risa> ok. What a bad luck. Guys, what about the rest of you? ¿Qué les ha pasado? What has happened to you? Subiéndome al carro se me rompió la falda. 
Oh, ok. De, de atrás, sí. Pero como el hem, como la parte del ruedo. O, o, la, sí. o la, la costura. La completa. costura, así. Oh, my God. Ok. ¿Qué hizo? What did you do? <ríe> Creo que andaba tirro en el carro con eso. Sí. El tirro y las grapas son una gran cosa. Y no... <ríe> Así okay. me tocó. Hasta Ay, que llegué no, al evento. Wow, oh, no. Iba a un evento. Así. Wow. Ok. Guys, ¿qué les ha sucedido? Boys, ¿qué les ha pasado? What has happened to you? Yes. A mí el zipper de la falda se, se le cayó el carrito. Okay. Y, se abrió. y de suerte andaba una camisa, andaba una camisa larga, es lo que hice fue con eso, tapar. Oh. Subir un poquito más la, más la falda, eh, doblarle lo que es la pretina y Para que le cubriera a, más. dejar la camisa por fuera. Ajá. Oh, ok, ok, <risa> interesting, ok. Solo a las chicas les ha pasado, guys, and the boys, what about you guys? Nunca les ha pasado nada, like any accident with your clothing? Yes, teacher. Uh, how do you say uh, se me manchó con lejía? So, it got a stain with bleach. Okay, so stained with bleach. Esa es una de las cosas más tristes, I think. Stained with bleach. Especially, right, um, cuando es su camisa favorita. Like when it's your favorite clothing o es parte del uniforme, right? So, it's so sad. Okay, so it's bleach, it's stains. Come on, guys, what else? Boys, anything else? Girls, anything else? Let me tell you about my sad story. One time, fui a la universidad, I went to university, y andaba de esas sandalias como a meter el dedito, you know? And uh, I didn't pay attention. Y se fue. <laughs> so, but, pega loca salva vidas, you know. <laughs> and uh, I got it fixed. But yeah, that was super sad. Now, talking about this, um, we have that is called, it's a disaster, right? So, nos está contando esta chica que fue lo que le pasó con ropa. So, what happened to her and why this is called, it's a disaster. So, let's listen to this little conversation only one time. Luego vemos el vocabulario, right? And uh, let me play this for you. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates Red Green Blue Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are oh, light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Ah, uh, they're mine. Okay, guys, so based on this conversation, can you tell me, ¿qué fue lo que pasó? What happened? Why is it called, it is a disaster? Un What is the disaster? Se destiñó el pantalón y manchó la otra ropa. La exactly. luz blanca. Yeah, so it is stained, right? So, lo manchó todo. It stained all the clothes. ¿Les ha pasado alguna vez? Has it happened to you? Yes. Yes? All right. ¿Cómo yes. lo funcionan? How do you fix it? Oh, my God. No. No way. No. ¿Te lo ponen así? Do you wear it that way? Yo lo vuelvo a lavar. No. Pero manchado como con otros colores. What do you do? Uh, um, con agua tibia. Con agua tibia. Realmente, okay. realmente si uno lo toma en el instante. Cuando uno lo lava como en el instante, es como es, se le va el color. Pero si no lo lava. Ya no suelto, 
no. como un, un buen rato, ya, ya no se le quita. Ya no se puede. Wow, ok. Bueno, uh -huh. well, um, no sabía que con agua tibia. Lo intentaré la próxima vez. I'm going to give it a try next time. Ok. But look at this. Here we have, like, what happened to this clothes. If you check, this is blue. ¿Y cómo se llama este color? What is this color? Sky blue. Oh, it's sky blue. blue. Ok, it's sky, sky blue. blue. Es posible, sky blue. But también hay otra forma de hablar de colores. Normally, you nosotros like. tenemos like a lot of colors. You Todos like. los colores tienen muchos nombres en inglés, but puedo hacer los tonos light blue. como degradados. Exactly. Puedo hacerlos más oscuros o más claros. ¿Cómo voy a cambiar el nombre del color? This way. Easy. Solamente yo le pongo eh, dark, right? O le pongo seca, dark. O le pongo dark, light. Right. Antes del color para cambiar el tono. Y eso es todo. Por ejemplo, I have green and I want to say verde limón. Pero en realidad no existe el verde limón en inglés. Entonces puedo, 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 puedo decir como verde claro. Right? Verde oscuro, verde claro. So that would be dark green, green, mm -hmm. and light green. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So lo mismo pasó con el blue. Right? I have dark blue, I have blue, and I have light blue color. So, what's your favorite color, guys? Do you have a favorite color? Aparte de los que están acá, do you have any favorite color? Violet. Violet, all right. Like purple? Violet. Blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, but any specific blue? Dark blue? Metallic blue? Burgundy. Wow, Silver. that's a very nice color, okay. Rosemary? Magenta. Oh, okay. But like in your hair? Or just in general? <laughs> okay. Those are a lot of tones. All right. So guys, for tomorrow, solamente les voy a dar una tarea super pequeñita. The homework is, necesito que averigüen 10 colores más. 10 different colors. Um, por supuesto, los que no están acá, ni negro, ni gris, right? No colores que ya se sepan, pero hay muchos colores, por ejemplo, that we call in Spanish rojo ladrillo, rojo rubí, rojo pasión, all of those, pero tienen un nombre en inglés, right? Lo más fácil es, pónganle colors or colors in English, váyanse a imágenes y les van a aparecer una tonalidad de colores inmensa. So, seleccionen sus favoritos. The ones that you consider ven más a menudo, right? That is the homework for tomorrow, guys. And uh, solamente antes de irnos, quiero confirmar asistencia que no se me haya quedado nadie por asistencia. Deme un segundito here. Eh, Leticia no está por acá, right? Eh, Mirna Alejandra. A mí, creo que Alejandra sí la escuché. No, she's not here. Okay. Eh, Paola, Paola, solo regale mi confirmación, por favor. Present. Paola, no. Rose, no. Sandra, no. Sofía, Sofía Pérez. No. Eh, Teresa de Jesús. Present. Teresa, sí, está acá. Gracias. Trinidad. De Mercedes, no, right. No escuché Trinidad today. No. Ok. Ok, guys. Es, well, antes de irnos, solamente les quiero agradecer a los compañeros eh, que hemos estado acá, like, almost a hundred percent, que hemos estado durante todo el tiempo de conexión, todas las, las sesiones anteriores. So, I want to say thank you eh, to Kimberly. Tenemos like casi perfect attendance, Marco perfect attendance, eh, María de Los Ángeles, thank you so much guys, Mirna, thank you, uh, Nancy, gracias Nancy, yo sé que está enfermita, thank you so much for that, eh, veo también a Nelson con like así, asistencia super perfecta, Oscar, thank you, yo sé que también está enfermo, but le agradezco enormemente que está acá, ambos Oscar, right, I got eh, Rebeca, thank you guys, and uh, 
I got better. Thank you so much. Los demás compañeros tenemos una asistencia súper buena. Por un minutito no llegamos al 100%. Right. Pero súper buen trabajo a todos. And thanks a lot for that. Um, esa es la semana número 3. Terminamos la próxima semana, guys. Solamente les pido, avancemos con la plataforma. No nos vayamos quedando atrás, right? And sobre todo, conéctense, guys. Eh, veo acá un par de guerreros caídos en el camino. Eh, no es la idea, right? Sino la idea es conectarse, practicar, escuchar. Tal vez en algún momento usted dice, esto ya me lo sé, esto ya lo vi. But entre usted más escuche, entre usted más se involucre, va a ser más fácil, lo va a aprender más rápido. And, uh, y socializar es lo que hace que nuestro eh, idioma mejore, you know? El que escuche, el que lo pronuncie, el que lo repite y el que me involucre. So, gracias a todos por estar acá. Nos vemos el día de mañana, guys. And please, no se les olvide trabajar en la plataforma. Que tengan una muy buena noche. And have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.